welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Brianna Weiler and today I'm going to be doing part two of my spring cleaning video. I need to get up on my cabinets and take down the garland and the Christmas trees that are up there. There's some lights up there as well that I want to take the batteries out of so I can store those. I want to clean my refrigerator and my microwave off. My cabinets I want to get cleaned down, cleaned off, not down. Um, I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down, but I'm also going to be doing my dining room area today as well. I'll dust the pictures and the lamps off, and then I'll work on the furniture. I probably will put my, that direction's not a good angle. I will probably put my grill parts in the sink because they need to be washed. The inside is dirty from the last time I grilled on it. And then I will clean some of the splatters off from when I cooked my steak. And then maybe I'll try and just clean the outer part of it. And I will probably just put it back out on our balcony and keep it out there. I don't think we're getting that crazy of weather. It's going to be cold, but it's not supposed to be as cold and snowy and icy and everything is what it has been so i probably will just leave it out on my balcony for the rest of the spring and summertime or until we move whatever comes first um but i'm gonna get all of that done i am going to try and clean off my countertops i am going to try and get this area over here the little coffee bar area i'm gonna try and get that all cleaned up and just try and arrange it so it looks nice and then my drying rack i want to get that cleaned because if you look closely at it it looks pretty dingy i have washed this my husband has washed it but i think part of it being with it being black is the colors that are the not the colors but the hard water just leaves marks and stuff so i'm gonna do that and then i'll take you guys up to the top of my cabinets as well to show you the dust that's up there i don't think i've dusted this one i think i've dusted more recently than i've dusted up top on this one and that garland's been up there for a couple of christmases now so it definitely needs it i want to clean my microwave the inside i don't think is too dirty but i might get in there and just kind of yeah there's a little bit of splatter so i'll clean that out my stove top my husband cleaned off after last night because last night i don't know what happened but it was a mess i'm gonna take the burners off this one is so dark because it is covered in grease from this front burner i use the two big ones and i don't think i ever that one i accidentally turn on when i'm trying to get that one going for some reason even looking at the pictures that are up there i get it wrong there's some yucky stuff just caked on i'm gonna get that cleaned off as well i had just cleaned my utensil container i threw it in the dishwasher because it says it's dishwasher safe so that has already been cleaned um, and all of my utensils I just took everything out because some of them don't get used as often as others and you can see like things like whatever splattered here I think it was from cinnamon rolls like the container just popped open on its own I didn't even have to like you know the ones that like bust open the like Pillsbury like ones yeah it got everywhere so I ended up just washing all of the utensils throwing what can go in the dishwasher in the dishwasher and hand wash the rest of them I will probably throw the rest of those tomatoes in here to clean that up and just get a bunch of the dust and grime and like random things like this this is like i don't know it feels like it's one of those little stopper non-slip grippy things from the bottom of a sock or something i don't know it's not something we don't need it so it's gonna go in the garbage but like little things like that clean it up and just dust things off because it's springtime and we need a refresh my kitchen aid collects dust even though i do use it and i do dust it off every so often it still collects some dust in there yeah this is the little coffee bar area and that california um cutting board was a gift from our wedding. It was off of our wedding registry. I want to see if I can get one for Virginia, which is where my husband is from, and then see if I can get a North Dakota one since that's where we live now, and then just collect them. I don't know. They're nice, and they're very detailed. Um, it's a cute decor piece. The other side is blank, but this side has all of the big well-known places and some of the not-so-well-known places. Uh, most of these places I know of because I grew up in California or I've at least heard of them. That is the California cutting board that we have on there. And then I got that W as a secret Santa gift the first year I was at my current job and it's super cute. It's a W for my last name. And then we have our teas in here. Then we have our drink mixes, liquid IV, crystal light, those type of things in there. We did have our Arbonne fizzy sticks in there at one point, um, but we are all out of those. Um, all of my straws and stir sticks are in here. These stir sticks were from Dollar Tree. I got two pack, two different packs of them. 
so I'd have a bunch of them because I make iced coffee and my husband um, my husband makes coffees as well so he can use them and then our little stick shark vacuum that we use to clean the floors when they get dirty like when there's crumbs and stuff and actually the floors look really clean right now surprisingly but i'm going to try and clean those as well my cabinets do have there's like a layer of dust you can see the fuzz there that's dust from the cabinet so i'm gonna get those dusted and probably clean the wall behind the garbage can and on the side there and then get this cleaned because i usually cook pancakes over on this counter with my griddle and plug it in there though there is usually some kind of a mess on the floor and the wall at some point so i will clean that up I, and then also maybe dust off the top of my fridge my husband keeps his lunchbox up there and he's at work so i can get that cleaned anyways i'm gonna get you guys on the other stand and start getting things going grab the ladder microfiber cloth and mrs meyers multi-surface spray i don't know what is up with this bottle i don't know why it's like all squished like that but the mrs meyers multi-surface spray i'm gonna use that for dusting i feel like it gets more of the dust off and then i use this on like the glass stuff which i probably will clean the sliding door out to our balcony and get that cleaned off on the inside maybe i'll get out to the outside today 48 degrees and the high is supposed to be 63 so i'm gonna get this kitchen cleaned up and organized and just back together looking nice for the spring so nice spring cleaning we we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night for the last time
So I'm washing dishes. As you can see, I chatted a lot in the very beginning of this video. I know it was a very chatty start to the video, but I hope you guys really enjoy this and you get some motivation from this cleaning video that I did for my spring clean with me. And I will come back on in a little bit when I have more to say, but I just wanted to chat with you a little bit and say sorry for that really long intro, but I hope you guys truly enjoy this video. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything To be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say, you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt that I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign oh, Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign coffee bar took me quite some time to get done. We are about halfway through this video now and if you're using this as a marker of when to finish your cleaning, we are about 15 minutes into this video and this video is almost 40 minutes long so you have a little bit longer. I just wanted to hop on and just talk a little bit about the coffee bar and the things I have there. I have most of the typical things in my coffee bar. I have a frother I bought on Amazon and some fun little stir sticks and all of my stainless steel reusable straws. I have the coffee pot that my husband uses because I only drink cold brew coffee. I know it sounds silly, but I'd rather have, I like the way it tastes better when it's a cold brew than when it is brewed hot. I don't know what, why the difference is for me, but yeah, I just do the cold brews. So for the most part, the coffee bar is my husband's space. I took everything out and went to go dust and realized how dusty it was. So I ended up vacuuming with that fun little shark vacuum that I have there, the handheld one. That one comes in handy so much for us when there's dust or dirt or just little things to clean up when we don't want to get out the big vacuum cleaner and it just works great for us. Um, 
I got that one off of Amazon. I've seen it at Walmart before. So if you're on the market for one, it's a shark handheld vacuum. My husband has a drawer full of K-Pods there I'm showing you. And I am going to just put some music back on so that way you guys can just jam out to the music and get your cleaning done as you see fit. I would like it if you leave me a comment down below and let me know what you like about these videos. If you want to see more things like this, I don't typically do longer videos, but this minute, this video is between 35 and 40 minutes. I'm not fully done editing down the parts where I do talk, so it may be a little bit longer. Um, I mean, shorter, not longer. <laughs> Won't be longer than 40 minutes or 38 minutes. So I am going to just put some music on and let you get back to it. <music> Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here tonight Before we make this even Find another way to 
say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. All right, so my refrigerator, I cleaned the back of it and I put up all of my magnets. These are just different ones that are from California. Um, this one is from Italy. My sister-in-law got it for us while they were there on their honeymoon. This is also California, Mexico, North Carolina, Virginia. And then these ones are from Texas. Some fun little things from my sweet little nieces, my best friend's kids. And then these are from Wisconsin. I don't know why I have three of them. I must have overbought thinking I was going to buy them for other people and gave them to other people and then for some reason I have three extras. Um, my North Dakota, different places I've been to in North Dakota, uh, magnets, and then South Dakota, we've been to Mount Rushmore, the Black Hills, Badlands, Crazy Horse Memorial, Devil's Tower is Wyoming. That is the only Wyoming magnet I have. And then I added on April for my calendar on here because March is almost over so close crazy we're almost into the fourth month of the year um but there are those oh actually this where did it go this isn't my only wyoming one this one up here is my other wyoming or what other wyoming one and we have two of those and then i have some that are hiding over on this side but a lot of that stuff has information on it about where we live and whatnot so for security purposes i'm not going to be showing that i'm going to be moving on to over this way i figured i would work on this section top to bottom be done with that and then work over here top down to the bottom get the cabinets the counters the everything clean but i'm going to start at the top so that way the dust if any falls i can clean it as i go as it falls down so there's that and then i will have to clean the floors there was some dust bunnies that came off of the refrigerator. But yeah, so I'm gonna put you back on the camera stand and then get to cleaning the other portion of the kitchen. This kitchen is much bigger than I thought. I haven't even cleaned the dining room area. I might just leave that for a different day. I don't know, we'll see. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems like. You're dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be oh we were meant to be oh we were meant to be oh we were meant to be, oh, we meant to be. so just sit into the morning building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this but I think I guess 
do the living room or the kitchen and the dining room space I didn't get to the dining room space today the kitchen just took me so much longer trying to get the dust from up high and like really deep cleaning things I took the burners off the stovetop I put the tomatoes that were still some in a packet in here this is a banana bread that I made from the Joanna Gaines book I just put it all over there so it wasn't taking up the entire counter I took all the burners off the stove and cleaned the burner and the under plate thing. 
Then I also cleaned back here. I cleaned the outside of the microwave, not the inside. I cleaned the front of the toaster and the sides and I got the KitchenAid kind of cleaned up. I need to do better, but I also cleaned and dust the cabinets on this side and then on this side and we also on both sides. The only thing I have up is that stuff. This side, I took everything down from up there. It looks blank and empty, but I'm tired of it. It's been up for since not this past Christmas, so not 2021, but 2022. I left it up all year 2021, so I took it down. That's all clean. I cleaned the cabinets off. I cleaned the little coffee bar and the cabinets there. I did not get to the front door, but I did clean the refrigerator. Then I came to the sink and I put the dishes that were in the sink in the dishwasher. The dishwasher is running. I hope it's not too loud for this video. I cleaned the countertops off. I cleaned my dish drainer and then also cleaned some other stuff. My sponge holder needs to go back in the sink so that can go there. Then I have that. There's that. And then I cleaned up my straws. I cleaned up this little piece I didn't realize came out of the Keurig. That I'm waiting for that to dry up a bit before I put it in, it has a sharp piece in it, so I'm not doing anything with that right this minute. I cleaned my cookbook um, stand. The plastic part on it was very dirty, dusty. Um, I, I've been using it a lot more recently. This is the um, book that the banana bread recipe was in. It was really good, highly recommend it. Then I burned, or lit a candle to go on the countertop and my battery was dying out, so I swapped that. That's why part of the cleaning process over here, when I took everything off, you didn't see me putting it all back because the battery just died out on me in the middle of it. And I forgot to plug in the other one that I had had to take out in the very beginning so I had to wait for it to charge a little bit so I just let it charge and then got that stuff put up and then I went through and vacuumed the floor um a quick vacuum over I'm gonna end up doing the floors better this weekend probably if not next week um I have more time next week this week I just wanted to try and get some of the stuff that gets really dirty and well used like the kitchen, the living room, cleaned up. I have work tomorrow morning. We're gonna do Costco. There'll be a Costco haul coming soon. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys there. And if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I'd love to have you here. And until next time, bye.